The sigmoid curve is an algebraic function that suggests that no growth is permanent or sustainable forever. And that every growth curve is eventually going to hit a plateau point. And if not addressed, that plateau point will turn into decline of the business. So it's a big paradox in business. You're on a growth curve, and the sigmoid curve algebraic formula suggests that what goes up eventually will plateau and crash and burn unless we find a way to sustain growth and momentum. And so it's really at that point on the sigmoid curve and what we call the point of plateau on that curve that we have to be most concerned about whether or not we can sustain momentum. And what's really the paradox behind this, the paradox behind the sigmoid curve, is that we ask people to break what's working in order to sustain success. We ask people not to wait until the demise of a business to address growth. We're asking people to address growth while growth is happening. So it's a paradox because people go, wait, what are you saying? It's actually working. The numbers are tracking well. Profitability is up. Revenues are up. Sales are up. What do you mean we have to change the way we're doing things? That doesn't make sense, boss. But what you're doing is applying the basic premise that sits under the sigmoid curve, which is the paradox of that whole growth curve is that we have to interrupt success while it's still successful. That's harder leadership. It's much easier to lead people back from a crisis because everybody's aware. There's no debate, there's no big issue. Everybody knows that the business is in trouble, so we've got to move quickly to be able to mobilize ourselves and get out of this bad situation. That's easy, that's easier, I should say, than when we're in the face of success, asking a business to do something different. That's harder leadership. And the only way that you can do that, the only way you can get people in the face of success to change what's working is you've got to create a more compelling future on the other side of that curve. You've got to create a more compelling... What's going to motivate me to give up a successful business model. It's working. We're selling things like we've never sold before. We've got all the engagement that we need. All the numbers that we're tracking are indicating that we're doing quite well in the business. What's going to compel me to do things differently is you paint a picture of a more compelling future, a more successful future, and I'll put my head into that. Um, but I'm likely not to do it if you don't give me a compelling reason to do so. So that's the real test of leadership on the sigmoid curve. From a position of strength, the way you get me to put down this frame and look at a different way of framing the business is to make sure that that other frame is more compelling than the current one. That's really the essence of the curve and that's really the challenge of leadership behind the sigmoid curve give people something that compels them to put down what's working in order to build a bigger and more prosperous sort of future for the business.